Hi, this is Dr. Upsham Goyal. We shall try to demonstrate the versatility of 27 gauge vitrectomy systems in complicated vitrotrienal surgeries. This 50 year old gentleman was referred as a case of status post vitrectomy surgery for proliferative diabetic retinopathy. He had undergone multiple injections of bevacizumab and lasers even before the surgery. What we see here before us is an extensive vitrotrienal adhesion with the posterior hyaloid almost impossible to separate. Upon pulling the vitreous, the posterior hyaloid keeps splitting. Trying to hold it from beneath the hyaloid doesn't seem to work too well either. Also, the slightest traction causes the new vessels to bleed. Here you can see a, a, a taut posterior hyaloid face with at least some separation from the retina. The 27 gauge vitreous cutter is deployed for delaminating cutting as well as segmenting the posterior hyaloid attachments quickly without having to deploy any other instrument at all and all this with the minimal traction on the fibrovascular proliferations. This is possible because the 27 gauge cutter has a very small cutting port which sits right at the end of the tip and coupled with a very fine form factor of the entire instrument makes it possible to reach right up to the tissue without causing any turbulence due to the very fine fluidics involved in a 27 gauge cutter which has and actually even thinner 30 gauge inside. So this is the reason why I personally prefer 27 gauge vitrectomy even in these complicated cases where we have to do a lot of tissue handling. Otherwise we would have to have had to depend on scissors for delaminating, for cutting and for separating the layers. Mm-hmm.